Hey, James here, and here's an update on running Froyo on my HTC HD2. Uh, so, uh, a week ago, a couple weeks ago, I had installed a build of Android, the Matt C Froyo build. Uh, little uh, did I realize I had um, installed one build back. I had installed 1.4, I should have installed 1.5, or 1.5 had just come out, I didn't realize it. And I have now updated. Um, non-destructively with 1.5. I've also tried another um, build uh, by I think it's called Shubcraft that also um, kind of worked. When I say kind of worked what I mean is these are works in progress not everything is 100% and there's some variables and you just have to be smart about it. Now one thing I do like about this is it's very snappy. Um, it responds very well the screens are very clear and um, also uh, what I kind of like about it is um, the, my typing on my keyboard works really well let's um, just open up something oh, here's Yahoo Mail I just downloaded it because I wanted to try it out this is an app that I got out of the uh, marketplace compose a new email um, if you if you folks saw one of my other videos, I tried typing on this exact same HD2 when it was running Windows Mobile with HTC Sense and it just sucked eggs. Oh, well, I'm typing in the two line, but that's okay. Oops, I got one spelling mistake, but nowhere near or as horrible as before. Uh, let me try just typing something and I'm typing with my hand I'm not used to typing with. Let me try typing with the hand I am used to typing with and with my thumb which is what I normally type with. Perfect. So gone are the typing problems with my previous um, Windows Mobile. Uh, now, this actually looks pretty damn cool. Now, it didn't come this way. I had to download applications, widgets, and set the screens up the way I wanted them to be. Um, now, I'm not going to go over all the software that I installed, but just know that you can search the marketplace and make your phone pretty cool. I actually think this is a lot cooler than an iPhone 4. Yes, I do. And not only that, but um, it multitasks. Yes, of course, it multitasks. And because it multitasks, I also needed to get something to check my CPU usage and process in the background. Again, in the marketplace, there are applications that will do that and help you manage your battery life. Now, battery life, that's something that a lot of people have been complaining about. And I've been easily getting the day's worth, if not a little more. And of course, if you play YouTube videos all day or your, your screen is actually on, all the time, your battery's gonna die. I mean, what phone is not gonna do that with the screen on and playing videos all day long? But I've gotten well through the day uh, because I use an application, one, to drop my CPU down to half its power and speed. Um, because in most of the day, this phone is just sitting on my waist and if it's doing something in the background, I don't want it to be using all the CPU. Um, I can easily just click this and push it up if I ever need this processing power to do anything special. I also have profiles on it so that when my screen is off it drops the CPU even more because if the screen is off hey the phone's not doing anything for me. Um, this by the way is called set CPU that's an act that's actually a very good application. Um, the other application that I'm using is a system panel which tracks the applications I have running in the background and allows me to close the ones that I'm not using and it closes them safely if um, it knows which ones are really not doing anything and leaves the ones alone that are running in the background that you may actually need and this application uh, helps me save my battery life uh, that's all the applications I'm going to talk about I've got a lot of others but just browse the marketplace now one thing I did have to do with this phone in order to get my 3G to work well is I had to actually downgrade my my radio. Um, initially when I had installed Android 
or Froyo, I had upgraded my radio or had installed the radio, uh, the Leo Radio 2.12.50.02 underscore 2. And it worked. I mean, everything worked. It worked, but what um, I've been reading is that different radios may drain your battery more or may to have different um, tendencies to connect to 3G or not, depending on the area you're in. Now, I'm in Seattle, Washington, and where you are, this radio that I'm using may not work for you. What I did to make my radio work better was I downgraded. So I went from 2.12 to 2.10, and I got a lot better signal now. My Wi-Fi works great. It's awesome. My Bluetooth works for media audio perfectly, but I cannot make voice calls I can't hear or speak and my phone actually froze once but this is a known issue and I'm sure they're gonna work it out if that gets worked out everything on the phone will be great the GPS flawless it's very snappy it actually tells me where I am unlike when I was using Windows Mobile on the exact same piece of hardware which means it was the same GPS receivers and everything I was always a block behind where I really was um, let's see here let me just demonstrate something here. Oops, my phone went to standby, but look how quickly it comes back. My network speed when I'm on Wi-Fi. Um, leaving it on when I'm at home or at work allows me to quickly connect to anything that's Wi-Fi um, or anything that's internet related. And I easily, quickly get YouTube to play videos. And also, um, my regular internet speed just using the web browser is very very fast in fact what I actually did to test it was I actually went on the flash based site the speakeasy speed test which is normally used for wired connections to check how fast your internet is I decided to go there because it's flash based and I wanted to test flash of course, I could have tested Flash by using Farmville, but hey, Farmville doesn't really... Farmville's a big memory hog. It doesn't really even work on a regular computer sometimes. In any case, here's my speed test. That is actually pretty good. Six megabits per second download. 2.63 megabits upload now of course if I did not have the Wi-Fi connected it wouldn't be that fast it would be nowhere near that fast but hey that's the benefit of having Wi-Fi and this was just a demonstration to show that it works fine um, other things that are pretty cool about this phone is well my my little launch bar down here which actually I believe is called launch bar pro um, shows all my applications look at that cool scrolling effect that's how quick and snappy this phone is my uh, HTC styled clock here with weather and of course this goes to the alarm very convenient my calendar um, I even have a screen that's a calendar syncs up with my Google account on the internet which also syncs up to my Outlook on my computer so I always know what the heck I'm doing every day my hand descent SMS which has funny looking bubble based messages um, and last but not least well the phone itself uh, it makes calls perfectly. It's great. Um, I love this phone. Froyo um, has given this phone new life. I'm not going to destroy it. Um, heck, I probably will never use a Windows mobile phone again. Anyway, awesome. And, um, and the camera works. The video works. So keep it up, you guys, um, that are taking your precious time, your resources, and the building things like this and that's I mean that's what makes everything great. Good work.